Hi and welcome to yet another discovery video with the XYZ DaVinci 1.0 A 3D printer. Now in the background here you can see um, a time lapse video of a very blue part being printed out. What I've done is I've um, dug out a video camera from, uh, from, from the past. I found it in a drawer so I'm going to hope that that's going to be okay to uh, record this with. I'll put a, a picture in the corner for you so you can see it. It's pretty old. Now, what this is, this is a part that I'm printing because uh, a couple of things happened today. Uh, first of all, my, what they call it, the cartridge reset tool turned up in the post. So we're going to show that a little later on, how that works and what it's like. And uh, secondly, as you can see, I got a, a cartridge of blue filament. Now, I'm having a bit of a problem with the blue filament. It's very ridgy when I, I do prints on it, and I don't quite understand why. But um, I'm sure I'll, I'll sort something out about that in the future but uh, as you can see this part's building quite nicely it's based on a part I found from Thingiverse um, I just had to beef it up a little it, w it wasn't really to my taste for for the uh, the size and strength of it but it's to hold a spool an open spool on the outside of the printer so as it's done we'll move to the next section of the video okay so this is the part that's just been printed out you've uh, just sat through the time-lapse video of it this is the video camera footage, so I must apologise at how badly it's been recorded. As you can see, it's been printed out with low resolution supports. So if we open the door, we'll head in and we'll try and scrape it off the bed. Uh, as you can see, I printed out a, a tool holder. So that was also from Thingiverse as well. And um, we'll have a go at scraping this thing off. Ah, there's the strip coming off. That come off nice and easy. And... This, this thing looks like it's pretty welded in place. There you go. There's a, a macro focus of the um, the ridges in the blue ABS that I've been talking about. No idea why that's happening, but I'll find out. So let's have a go now and see if we can get it off with the scraper. Ah, yeah, it, it, it is breaking away a little, but I think I'm definitely going to have to get the scraper in. The problem with this is it's it's the support structure that's stuck to the bed at the moment. So, yeah, I'll just get the scraper under this corner. Oh my god, the, the footage is fabulous, isn't it? I must get better with the video camera. Well, to be honest, I must get better with the scraper as well. And I have seen people, kind of, on other videos, using, like, a metal scraper and a hammer to get these things off. You know, this build, pl this build platform is made out of glass. So, you know, glass and hammers don't really mix too well i'm a little bit dubious of just trying to rip this thing off but you know we'll get there in a sec it's starting to break away now but the uh some of the support material is still stuck to the bed so if i can just get the maybe get the scraper under it and lever it a little i don't want, i don't want to give it too much that that corner's pretty melted to the bed which is a bit of a worry but uh if i can ever pick up this scraper again Oh, here we go, and we'll um we'll have another go at this. Here we go. Ah, there we go. That's it. And some of the support material is is kind of left right. So there you can see there's the uh, the support material and all the breakaway bits. So we'll get onto a video, another video in a sec. No, stop scraping that. No, stop it. No, people don't want to watch that. People don't want to see that. They want to see this. Okay? Right. So we'll move on and we'll see how we take off the um, the support material. Okay? So we should be able to switch in a sec. So this is the part on the bench. There it is. Finished. As you saw, just ripped it off the print bed and there it is there. Um, I did clean up the print bed. It didn't, didn't take two seconds. Once I had two hands free, it was very simple to do. And now... With a quick rub of the thumb, there you go, it just comes straight off. It's fantastic stuff. I don't know how they get it to do that. It just breaks straight off. It's really nice. You get a flat bar where it's been stuck to the base, but quick rub with a file or something will take that off. I'll, I'll do that in a sec. But that's uh, that's looking nice, although, although it is ridgy. Oh, there, oh yeah, there, there's a bit of support as well that needs to come off. So we'll just we'll just rip that straight off. And it leaves quite a nice finish. And um, I'll just, yeah, 
No, no, stop bothering with that. No. Just just get on with it. What? Who, who hired this bloke? Why is he not? Yeah, get, get on with that bit. No one. Don't stop banging the light and just get on with it. Yeah, stick your finger in there. That's it. Here it comes. There's the last bit coming off. And as you can see, you can just use your finger fingernail and just uh, crack it in. There we go. So that's it. That's all the uh, all the support material off. And and that and that's it. One three and a half hour print, thirty percent fill. 0.2 layer thickness is a bit weird though on this blue material. I don't quite get it at all. So it's gonna take some it's gonna take some time. It is a genuine XYZ cartridge of filament, but I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's it's the way that solid works generates this STL file or or what's going on. I just don't understand it. Right, so we're back again. And what we're gonna do this time, I know the lighting's not very good. But I'm going to reset this cartridge. This reset tool is straight out of the box. You know, I've read the instructions. The the guy sent it in a box. He sent instructions. Uh, it already had a battery in. So I'm going to go through the menu here. And you can see that it has uh, 221 meters remaining on a 240. And we'll make sure that it's blue ABS. There we are. So <laughs> this is either going to end really well or it's going to brick this cartridge. So if I just whip the cartridge out the machine here, there you go. Um, I know you can't see what's happening, but there's the cartridge now. It's got the blue filament in. No, you're too close to the camera. Get further away. Turn it round. That's it. We want to see the bottom. And the cartridge reset tool looks like that. It's a little tiny black thing. It's XY Zap. That's pretty awesome. It's got three spring pins on the bottom. And a single button with a green light and it's um it's pretty cool so you just clip it into the bottom of the cartridge it fits nice and snug and then you hold down the button and then some flashy lights happen so you just keep holding it down and so it flashes on and then it flashes again and then it goes on and then it goes off and then you're done and that's it and you take it off it's as simple as that so now we're going to put it back in the printer and we're either going to brick it or it's worked. So I haven't put the clip in just in case. We go to info, go to cartridge status and look at that. 240 meters of 240 meters. That's fantastic. Absolutely worth every single penny. So now I can just use that cartridge and just keep resetting it and use open spool filament from somewhere else. Hmm. Maybe I should have printed out a filament holder. Oh, yeah, I've just done that. So that's excellent. So that's pretty much everything I've done with the 3D printer today. Not a lot, really, you know, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. So as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Steve. Thanks for listening.